insurance industry has various participants. Uh, uh, so you, at the top, you start with the reinsurers, right, which are more driven around uh, extremely unique policies, uh, reinsurance contracts, which are very non-standard, and you come down to large commercial, then small commercial. The level of standardization in the policies keeps increasing. Um, and uh, on personal line side being the maximum, right? So uh, in, if you were to put this principle, the greater adoption would be easier to accomplish in things where, or lines of businesses where there's a fair degree of standardization existing already. Uh, the more complex it is, the harder it is to apply and uh, adopt. So the insurtech strategy and the journey is very different for each of these stages. So, on one end, while on the reinsurance side it might not be as much, uh, on the personal line side adoption on, in, on insured tech by which I mean trying to use cognitive methods, uh, uh, machine learning, AI, it's much higher on the personal line side. I mean, e if you were trying to buy a policy in the US, uh, especially in some of the direct platforms like Geico, uh, you would see that year on year the amount of questions you're answering, how you're answering is changing. Uh, you'll be surprised these days when uh, with very few questions they're able to identify your car, uh, where you live, things like that. And uh, that's all cognitive science. But trying to attempt that to do it on commercial insurance becomes harder. If you want to take the reinsurance, it becomes even harder. So the degree is different, but all forms, all across are dabbling with it. And it's the results which are different across. Uh, we came across a very talented team, uh, a talented team of insurance experts first and technologists at heart um, who had gone beyond just talking about concepts and proof of concepts and presentation and actually had a product to show for uh, on the blockchain, on blockchain which facilitates back-end transactions between insurance and reinsurance companies. And that company was chain that. Uh, we felt uh, for exceedance and the industry in particular, it would benefit for, uh, by investing in this company and giving them a runway to prove out uh, by delivering products to the, to the industry. So we made an investment in Chain that a couple of years back, it's an equity investment and so far the progress we have seen with that has been quite promising and uh, in different parts of uh, the world there are various discussions happening with Chain that team by some of the largest insurers and reinsurers to explore the kind of efficiencies the platform can deliver and we hope to complete some good uh, implementation soon which can be talked about at a broader stage. Investing in this technology today and doing the research and development towards creating these solutions which our carrier partners and all can adopt is the role we see for ourselves. Um, in that context, we, we feel there's a very strong potential of the technology. We do recognize it's early, but we take it upon us to prove it out and see whether there is a good scale and good product that the insurance industry can use.